Hey guys, Jason Creel. I wanted to talk to you for a minute about the difference between uh, having a lawn mowing business or weed control and fertilization business. So I, I personally have done uh, both and it's really the, the biggest difference is not what I would have thought it would have been when I first started. So, you know, there, there, let's point out some, some of the lesser differences first and then I'll get to you what the, I feel like is the biggest difference. So uh, some of the differences are the amount of competition. So as you know, if you're in the mowing business, how many other people are in the mowing business? A lot, a whole lot, you know, depending on where you live. But, you know, in, in uh, some areas, it is a very, very crowded industry. That, and again, I tell people all the time, that doesn't mean you, you can't be successful. I mean, all, all competition is not legitimate competition. So, um, and it's a growing industry. So, you know, I don't necessarily let that intimidate you. Uh, but when you when you notice for the weed control and fertilization, there's, there's typically not near as many companies out there. I mean, not nearly as many. So that's one difference. But I also say this, and along with that, many times in the weed control and fertilization, the companies that are out there are sometimes big players with big money and are spending money on marketing. So, you know, it, it's a little bit, uh, they, they're, com I wouldn't say more competitive, uh, maybe I would, but you know, it just, you know, there's some big players in the industry, I guess what I'm saying. So, you know, when I'm doing weed control here, I don't have as many competitors, but the ones who are out there have money to spend. Um, definitely some of them. So, um, I think too, you're, you've got this, this idea about uh, your credentials. You know, obviously there's, uh, you have to be licensed to do weed control and fertilization. Um, you know, some extra training, extra requirements. So, you know, that, that makes it a little bit different as far as uh, compared to uh, mowing where, you know, the, the barrier to entry is not as much. But I would say the biggest difference in my opinion is uh, the fact that um, it's, it's the people, you know, it's the actual people and can you handle uh, the situation. So let me explain. Um, in mowing, let's say you had, you know, I don't know, let's say you had 50 customers and you're working by yourself. Well, 50 customers may actually keep you busy full time. When we control fertilization, it's not going to. You, you've got to have a lot more customers um, to because you're not going to their house once a week or once every other week you're only going you know a certain number of times per year um, but when you have a lot of customers you know if you got if you got let's say you got 50 customers you go cut all their yards this week how many of them you think are going to call you and complain if you're doing a good job um, most weeks you, you get no complaints. Occasionally you might get something, you know, something happen. I mean, now if you break something, you get a complaint, but I mean, rarely are they going to complain about the quality of your work unless you're just really being lazy and not doing a good job. We control and fertilization on the other hand, it's, it's not, uh, it's not something that can be perfected. I'm not saying you can't do better or worse than others and that sort of thing, but to say that you'll never have a weed in your lawn again for the rest of time, you know, is just not realistic, you know. So, um, so when you have hundreds of yards, or for some companies, thousands of yards, um, there are going to be calls saying, hey, hey, um, just want to let you know, we've got some weeds in our yard, can you come take care of that? Well, if you're in the mowing business and you're not used to that, you're not used to getting any negative feedback at all, Sometimes you have to develop and have a little bit thicker skin so that you, under, you know, it doesn't take it so personally. So if you, uh, you know, so anyway, I, I, to me, the biggest change has been um, understanding that that is part of the business, uh, that it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing a bad job. Um, and how I've learned to respond to those calls is, is a very big part of, I feel like how, the success of my bit. So when I when somebody calls and say, "Hey, you know, I've got some weeds popping up in my lawn. I don't know when the next time you're coming out," you can respond one or two ways, you know, or, or a couple ways that I respond. You can respond a bunch of ways, but I'll say one: uh, if it's really close to the time for their next treatment, then I'll say, "You know what? 
Um, we're actually scheduled to be out at your house very soon, so I think I'll come on out this week for your next treatment. And while I'm out there, I'm going to make sure I take care of that for you. They appreciate that. Okay, so you're not making a special trip. You're just going on and doing their normal treatment and taking care of it. Or you can, if it's not time for their next service, you can do, you can say, hey, um, you know what, I, I appreciate you letting me know that. I'm going to actually uh, be in your area on Thursday. Would you mind if I just came by on Thursday and took care of that for you? And, and you know, no charge or anything. And so, and they appreciate that level of service that you are taking care of them uh, in that way. So, um, I, I think, you know, what you don't want to do is, is get defensive and, and get, be real thin-skinned because you got a complaint or somebody gave you some negative feedback. Um, so you have to learn to communicate with the customers. Uh, if you don't like dealing with people, if you don't like talking to people, if you take it very personal, if, if there's any negative feedback, then to me that is the, you know, of, of all the other you know, differences between a, a mowing business, a weed control and fertilization business. There, there's a, a knowledge that goes with the weed control, a lot to learn, that sort of thing. But uh, for me, learning to talk to the people, deal with the people is the key difference. And in my opinion, something that be con should be considered if you're looking to get into that. You know, do I like uh, dealing with those things? Can I um, put the fires out for lack of a better word? A better phrase, you know, and be able to talk to these customers and uh, address their problems without taking it so personal and take, you know, being offended every time I get a call. So I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, thank you.